So before you tonight, we have a uh, proposed rezone at 1330 Indian Hills Drive. The subject parcel is uh, a little over an acre in size. It's 45,152 square feet. Uh, the applicant's requesting a rezone from the current general business zoning district to the residential office zone. Uh, this uh, parcel was originally platted as part of Indian Hills 6 addition to the city of Moscow. So this is the parcel highlighted in red at the center of your screen. Uh, it's an older photo from about 2012, so um, you may realize the improvements to Indian Hills Drive and the rest of Indian Hills 6 have been completed. So uh, Indian Hills Drive uh, running east-west, and then you have a Pony Place. Uh, those have all been uh, completed as far as the infrastructure and sidewalks, curb gutter, uh, and paving. You have Mountain View Road uh, heading north-south uh, here to the east, Alturas Drive with Alturas Technology <coughs> Park there to the north. Uh, directly to the east of the property is the USDA office building. Uh, you have various agricultural use uh, field properties to the east and to the south. And then uh, there's some townhouses that are currently under construction to the west <coughs> and some multifamily development further to the west on that larger piece there. Uh, looking at the current comprehensive plan land use designation, uh, it's currently designated as auto urban commercial as well as the USDA property to the east and then more of the Thompson property to the east of uh, Mountain View Road. Uh, to the west, with the multifamily development, we have urban uh, residential designation through there. Uh, to the north is uh, Research Technology Park, which represents Alturas. Uh, you've got Alturas Park here to the north, which is parks and open space. And then to the south across Indian Hills Drive is uh, Auto Urban Residential Designation. So taking a look at what the Auto Urban Commercial Designation states in the comprehensive plan, uh, it provides for commercial services and developments, usually catering to motor vehicle oriented, uh, those which require a large amount of land, should be located adjacent to existing commercial developments or along major arterials uh, where you can, you can accommodate the traffic. Uh, and then it points to the motor business zone as being the most appropriate zone. Uh, there is a portion of state law that requires zoning to be in accordance with the comprehensive plan. And uh, the general rule of thumb is that any area may be zoned for a lower intensity than is indicated in the plan, but generally should not be zoned for a more intense use. Uh, so that's what you really have with this uh, proposed zone change. So looking at the current zoning, general business, as well as um, the USDA building to the east is general business. Uh, the lighter blue represents motor business zone to the east and to the southeast. Uh, RO, which is the proposed zone change, the property to the, we to the west is uh, currently that designation. Uh, Alturas is re research technology and office uh, zone. And then to the south is farm ranch designation. So this would be the proposal, just changing from uh, general business to residential office. Uh, you do have that contiguous area to the west that would be residential office as well. So in the zoning code, uh, looking at uh, what the code says about the residential office zone, uh, it's intended to be moderately intensive, uh, includes both office and high density housing. And this is really our transitional zone, you know, intended to be between uh, commercial or industrial zoning districts and residential zoning districts. So um, serves as a transition, you know, in this case we have general business and motor business to the east of Mountain View uh, and then it trans, you know, serves as a transitional to the residential office to the west and then the R3, R2 and uh, R4 zones within Indian Hill 6 further to the west. Uh, it's appropriately applied in the following circumstances on the perimeter of commercial or industrial districts where they abut residential land uses, uh, where transportation network use is greater than desirable for lower density to residential uses, and where landforms create sites that are reasonably accessible by transportation systems and which are buffered from nearby residential areas, as well as uh, where the development patterns in a neighborhood will allow development of moderate intensity to occur without producing adverse visual impact or harm to the transportation network. Looking at the street network, uh, we do have uh, water sewer stubbed to the subject property. Uh, it's of adequate capacity. Indian Hills Drive is designated as a local street. Uh, Mountain View is designated as a, a minor arterial. Indian Hills Drive is currently paved, curb gutter, tree lawn, sidewalks on both sides of the street, as well as on-street on street parking uh, on both sides of the street, and then Mountain View Roads and Arterial. 
So taking a look at um, the rezone criteria in order to approve a rezone application, uh, you need to meet five criteria, and the first one is just consistency with the comprehensive plan. Uh, the second is providing for a logical and orderly location of land uses and community services and facilities. Uh, the uses expected to occur as a result of the rezone will be compatible with the surrounding area. Size, type, and density of development expected to occur as a result of the rezone will not place an undue burden upon delivery of services provided by any political subdivision within the planning jurisdiction. And finally, uh, size type density of development expected to occur as a result of the rezone can be adequately served by existing transportation network, public facilities, and services. Applicant did conduct a neighborhood meeting uh, within everybody within 600 feet, and the site has been posted as a public hearing, and that happened on September 28, 2017. Uh, those materials are included within your packet tonight. The commission did conduct a public hearing, happened on November 8th of this year, and they recommended approval unanimously uh, of the rezone request. So with that, staff's recommendation is that the council conduct a public hearing in consideration of testimony received, approve the proposed zoning ordinance under suspension of the rules, and that they adopt the Planning and Zoning Commission's reason statement of relevant criteria. <coughs> and I'd certainly be able to answer any questions that you might have. Okay, for council questions for Michael before we open the public hearing, Walter. Thank you, sir. Uh, Mike, can you go back to your current zoning, Mike? <coughs> there are currently some fairly recently constructed apartments along Indian Hills Drive. Are they in the brown area marked RO? And there's a vacant lot between the subject property and and those apartments. Um, <clears throat> there's a, some townhouses, two rows, so they are multifamily. They're not divided on individually platted lots. So there's a. But one they are immediately adjacent to the property we're talking about. Correct. Okay, yeah. that, that was yep. my question. Yep. Thank you. Are there questions for Mike before we get going on the public hearing? Thank you, Michael. We will open the public hearing at 734, and I'd like to hear from the applicant, please. All right. Garrett Thompson on behalf of Thompson Development, LLC. 1024 Pinecrest here in Moscow, Idaho, 83843. Good evening, Mayor and City Council members. Uh, thank you for your time this evening, and thank you, Mike, for your presentation on the rezone. This is a pretty straightforward request. The lot is currently zoned general business, and I respectfully request that you approve the rezone to residential office. The residential office zone gives us more market flexibility and it is not incompatible or it is not an incompatible use with the property adjacent to the west which is already zoned residential office and the property to the east is used as office space for the usda and is currently zoned motor business i appreciate your time this evening and would be happy to answer any questions you may have questions for garrett before we move on Thank you, Garrett. Awesome. Well then, thank you. <laughs> Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. With that, we will move on to other testimony. Those um, in favor or general testimony, more opposed, please come up, state your name, address, and let us know what is on your mind in relationship to this. Seeing none, rush to the podium. It's going to go once. Why three times I close the public hearing at 736. I'll turn it over to council for discussion. Art. Well, it makes good sense to me. It's a good uh, <coughs> extension of the residential office area already in existence. It doesn't harm any of the other adjacent uses. Uh, the Planning and Zoning Commission found in favor of it and generated appropriate reason statements and criteria. And I see no impediments to putting this through. Okay. I would agree with Mr. Betke, and uh, I would uh, move that we approve the proposed zoning ordinance under suspension of the rules requiring three complete and separate readings and that it be read by title and published by summary, and that we adopt the Planning and Zoning Commission reason statement of relevant criteria. I second it. 
Okay, further discussion? Okay, with that we've got a motion by Jim and a second by Art to approve the proposed zoning ordinance under the suspension of the rules requiring three complete and separate readings and that it be read by title and published by summary and adopt the Planning and Zoning Commission's reasoned statement of relevant criteria. I will start to roll with Brandy. Aye. 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 And aye. <clears throat> okay, and with that we have an ordinance somewhere here. 2017 16 16 okay 2017 16 an ordinance of the city of Moscow Idaho municipal corporation of the state of Idaho providing for the zoning of approximately 49,068 square feet of property described in section 1 of this ordinance as residential office RO providing that the provisions of this ordinance be deemed severable providing for this ordinance be in full force and effect from and after its passage, approval, and publication according to law. 